Our first encounter with Lindsay Nandasi was at Makerere University, where she was lining up with her fellow innovators to pitch an idea to the judges at the launch of the National Science Week, where she stood out among the finalists who were recognized by the minister. Some of these things are really exciting. I've been able to see some of the videos. Nandase Lindsay, paint mixture from clay. We sought out Lindsay Nandase, who has created a way of turning ordinary clay into modern clay paint. She hopes that one day her product will be embraced on the Ugandan market. She explains the process of making paint out of the clay. And then our clay. Yes, then we mix it through. Yes, as we mix, we make sure it's thoroughly mixed, that it does not settle down, which it doesn't exactly. So we add in our pigment, which is powder, <coughs> our pigment, which is a little powder. Three weeks ago, Nandase picked the interest in making climate smart paint. As a chemistry student, her love for trying out different ideas was drawn from her father, who is also a scientist. The 17-year-old Lindsay Nandase is a senior for student of St. Mary's Namagunga, is very passionate about science and enjoys chemistry. I was kind of researching about it and like how can they make this paint without such smells and emissions. So then I figured out there is clay paint that can be made, clay paint, and which is far more durable, far more aesthetic and it covers well and it's very very durable. According to Nandase, Uganda has the second largest depots, second to only China. In Makutu, where her father works, clay mining is common but most of the clay is exported instead of making good use of the material. Countries like Singapore and Australia have ready market for the clay. first one basically is use of our resources to the max before selling it out and giving to the richer countries and also helping in finding eco-friendly ways. Nandasi says she will use this opportunity to maximize these free resources to make her product, which is clay paint, since she has no competition in the country and simply because it is also cheap. Mainly outside countries like Australia, Yes, that's the main one I saw, I, I saw, but right now in Uganda, it's not very, very common. She says her idea is very unique because unlike other paints, her paint is eco-friendly. I was not comfortable with the fact that that paint contributes 9% of destruction of the ozone layer, like I said. So as, it, as I kept on going more and more into this, the contest and all, it kept on hoping me realize that I'm doing something good and very beneficial. Her father has been very supportive in each and every step. Evans Tusivira, her dad, is the chairman of Mokoto Civil Society Organization that deals in rare earth metals. Tusivira advises his daughter not to focus on the cash prize at the World Science Day. He instead encourages her to go on on the project that she is already working on. His approach as a scientist is looking beyond the theoretical part. Well, does it cost her to do science, to do chemistry, just in the books, when you can actually put it on the ground as early as that? Tusubira says he is grooming his daughter to have the mindset of becoming a creator and not just an employee, adding that this creates a great opportunity simply because Uganda has not yet embraced clear science. She doesn't have to look for a job. She already has sufficient knowledge to put a product up there in the market. But what has gone wrong is the whitewashing of our minds that actually when I do this chemistry, I have to be either a teacher or I, I do medicine and I do all sorts of things. We've not thought otherwise. That actually you, using this knowledge, you can go up to product uh, manufacturing, to a point of actually generating something on the market 
and get an income from that. The clay paint that she is using is not only available, but it is at a no cost. Unlike other paints that contain lead, this contains serum and it's not dangerous to the human body. Yves Masawi, CTV, PM Edition.